Hey Scorpio, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana, and here is your November reading, right? Now remember, this is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio. This is not your personal reading, and what don't we do? We don't make life-altering decisions based on my general readings or anybody else's general readings, okay? If you need confirmation, wisdom, guidance, understanding, clarification, then schedule yourself a personal tarot card reading with your favorite tarot card reader, and if that's me, my link is in the box below, deepthoughtswithdana.com. All right, Scorpio, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. You enter into this reading dissatisfied. Nine of Cups in reverse. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. You are tired of having to be strong and courageous. And you are in a state of spiritual poverty, right? Whatever this is, you're just tired of the whole damn thing. Tired of it. Just You've had enough. You're just tired of it, right? Dissatisfied. Nine of Swords. You have a good degree of anxiety and despair. You really do. You have a good degree of anxiety and despair. Truly do. What's this all about? Well, it's about stifled creativity, Stifled creativity, whatever this may be, we'll figure out what this is as we go. But the, did you see that? That happened in my Taurus video too. Did you just see that little thing float across the screen? What is going on? And now there's nothing floating in the air. I mean, there's, I'm, in, I'm in my bedroom, right? I mean, that was the weirdest thing. Watch for it again. Happened twice in the Taurus reading. Okay. Three of Cups in reverse. There's stifled creativity. You are dissatisfied. You are fed up. And you are just, uh, you're, 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 you're about to complete whatever this is. Nine, the Nine of Swords, right? This is about fruition, attainment, conclusion, right? You're fed up. You're making a decision about what it is you're going to do. Fed up about stifled creativity. What is this about? Well, you want a turning point. You want a turning point in this situation. But there is a challenge. You are challenged, right? Because you don't have enough foresight. No, I take that back. You're challenged because you're preparing to share your feelings. And I know this is upside, this is reverse, it's upside down. So what these cards are saying to me is that you want a turning point, but you're challenged, right? Because... You're trying to prepare, but you don't have enough foresight because you're feeling like maybe if you shared your emotions and feelings about this situation, that it might be unrealistic. It might not be well received, right? Right? And this puts you in the moon energy, right? In your, in your, right, right? <laughs> in your subconscious mind, right? Struggling with your sub struggling with your subconscious mind, um, trying to get a handle on yourself right there, right? This is fear, anxiety as well. Trying to get a handle on yourself, trying to figure out what it is that you are going to come to terms with in this Nine of Swords energy. Well, here's your answer, Scorpio. Here's your answer. The world in reverse. You have decided that there needs to be a cycle closure. This is about personal closure, okay? You have come to terms with whatever this was right there. You've made a decision that you're going to close this cycle out. Personal closure. What is this personal closure? This personal closure is that you want the Ten of Cups with the Empress. This is Libra. This is Taurus. You want the Ten of Cups, happiness, values alignment, harmony, beautiful, committed, monogamous relationship. You want that with the Empress, okay? Whomever this is for you, it doesn't have to be Taurus, it doesn't have to be Libra, okay? Whoever this is for you, you hold this person in high regard and you really, really respect and value them, okay? And you want a Ten of Cups relationship. So what this tells me, Scorpio, is that you have tangled with this person in the past and you are dissatisfied with having to be strong and brave about the situation. You're in a state of spiritual poverty. You are in despair with the Nine of Swords, right? Because there is no nothing being created 
with this empress that you want the ten of cups with right nothing's being creative you want a turning created you want a turning point in this relationship but it's a challenge for you because number one you've been waiting for a long time number two there is um, a lack of foresight as to whether they're going to accept your emotions or not and you struggle with your subconscious mind right but the decision that you come out with is that you you are going to heal this situation and you want a Ten of Cups relationship with an Empress, okay? Nine of Pentacles says you're going to bring the whole damn thing to a culmination, to a conclusion. You're going to bring it full circle and lock it up. What are you going to do? The Page of Wands in reverse. You are going to bring a culmination to the frustration and the delays when it comes to... Um, expressing yourself to this person okay six of pentacles in the center of your reading this is about giving and receiving and sharing and sharing a life together having a good life together that's what you want that's what this whole reading is about that's what's in the center of your reading okay king of swords in reverse though here comes the problem here comes the problem is that somebody is angry Maybe you're still angry a little bit, but they're definitely angry, okay? All right? This is also about a misuse of power. So maybe you misused your power in the relationship somehow that pissed this person off, like off the hook pissed them off, okay? This is a card about being tyrannical and abusive as well um, in any varying degree, right? So something went down between the two of you and somebody is angry, okay? Hierophant in reverse talks about um, your personal beliefs, okay? It talks about um, shaking loose of a commitment. Um, the card of Taurus, by the way, it talks about maybe shaking loose this person, right? And maybe there's still some serious residual anger about the breaking of some kind of commitment with somebody where you dipped out, Scorpio, or maybe the other person. This is general, right? I mean, if this were personal, we could do who, what, why, where, when, and how. But because it's general, it's the whole if, and, or but thing, right? So this could go either way. But somebody dipped out on a commitment and you're afraid that somebody is still angry about that. You want a Two of Cups relationship. You want a unified love relationship or you want a unified partnership with this person. And the Knight of Swords comes in and says that you are going to take aggressive action to make it happen. Hangman in reverse, resistance and stalling. Why? You just made the decision right there that you're going to do this. And now there's resistance and stalling with the Hangman in reverse. Resistance and stalling. To the Five of Swords in reverse. This is a little bit of past resentment. Maybe you're a little bit angry too, or maybe that was you angry and the King of Swords in reverse. Um, there's a little bit of past resentment, right? But you're open to change. You're you're open to 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 open the situation back up again, right? Jen, you're in your feels with the King of Cups, right? This is Scorpio um, in the King of Cups. You're in your feels in the King of Cups, right? In your feels to the moon with your subconscious mind, your intuition. So what you're, what this is saying right here is that you're trying to get yourself in order. You're trying to get yourself under emotional control. Wait, emotional control. Does that give you some Freudian insight to my personality? My emotional controls right here in my head, right? No, just kidding. Okay. Trying to get yourself under emotional control, right? That's what these cards are saying, right? You have some right past resentment, but you're open to change. King of Cups, you, Scorpio, the King of Love, King of Feelings, trying to get yourself under control in your intuition and in your subconscious mind. It's followed by the King of Cups, which just reiterates that you're trying to be very much emotionally balanced, emotionally controlled, honesty, fairness. You just really, really want to approach this whole situation from a very emotionally stable perspective. Because the Prince of Swords in Reverse says, disregard for consequences. I don't even care. 
I don't even care anymore. I'm just tired of being frustrated. I'm tired of being anxiety stricken. I'm tired of feeling like this. And I want a 10 of cups relationship with the Empress. I want to give and receive. I want to take actions to create a two of cups relationship. And boy, I sure hope they're still not pissed off. That's what's going on here. I'm going to check myself. I'm going to check myself again. I'm going to make sure I'm in complete and total emotional control. And I am going to do it. A complete and total disregard for consequences to the Six of Cups to reunite and reconcile with somebody from your past. The wheel comes in and says you want a turning point. This is the a cycle a cycle ending, right? The ending of cycles. You're going to end this cycle of frustration and ambiguity because you see a Ten of Cups relationship with this Empress as wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Okay. Still got all these. In the past, somebody has walked away. Somebody has walked away. Hold on. Let me lay these out a little bit. Hold on. Let me get myself straight. All right. In the past, somebody has walked away with the Eight of Cups, right? Somebody has walked away. And you are afraid, Scorpio, that they are going to have a lack of motivation, right? That they're going to have a lack of motivation to re-engage. Um, you're hoping that they can release, right? You're hoping that they can release the, um, the, um, you're hoping they can let their guard down. Okay, you're hoping that that they can come out of self-protective mode. And this could be you also, right? Um, releasing your mental prison in the self-protection mode, okay? To the Queen of Wands in reverse, you sure hope they're still not angry because you're about to take inspired action. You sure hope that they're not still angry because you're about to take inspired action. Alchemist in reverse, untapped talents, because now you see the worth of this person. Now you understand the worth of this person and you want a Ten of Cups relationship with them. Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. You can't shake this person. Whoever this is, you can't shake them and you want to fix it. You want to make it better and you want a Ten of Cups relationship with them. The, the, the uh, queen of, hold on, somebody's calling me. How annoying. Decline. The queen of pentacles to the emperor. You want this person, you are stuck in the past, and you want this person to be your queen of pentacles. You as the emperor. The emperor for me is half Aries, half Scorpio. You as the emperor want this person to assume position and title in your life. The queen of pentacles is somebody who not only pays the electric bill, but set the Wi-Fi password. Her socks are on the floor and her dishes are in the sink, right? Right? She's that person. You want that with her with her being the queen of pentacles, male, female, doesn't matter, but she is a queen of pentacles, right? You want that. You want her to assume that kind of title in your life. Hold on. Okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a domineering, controlling, worried about appearances. King of Pentacles upright as husband material. Four of Swords contemplating in a defensive posture your next move. Page of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action, blocked. And the Knight, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Again, um, Worried about appearances. Okay, 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, the first king of pentacles is being totally and completely out of control of the situation, right? There is no stability. There is no structure. There is no control. It's completely and totally out of control, out of your control anyway, Scorpio, right? King of pentacles, out of the situation's out of control. You are thinking with the four of swords, posturing, in a, posturing to make your next move, okay? Page of swords in reverse. I think you're blocked. Okay, I think this means that you're blocked. You don't know how to get a hold of this person. You don't know how to get through to them. You don't really know how to communicate what you want to communicate with them. To the King of Pentacles in reverse. This, this one is about worried about appearances. Because you know what I think? I feel like the people around you know what happened in this situation. And part of your anxiety in approaching this person is that now everybody, you already told your mama, right? You already told your mama what happened. And now you want this back around again. And you're like, how am I, <laughs> how am I going to do all of this? How am I going to explain this? But you don't care. You don't care. You're doing it anyway. You don't care. You want this person and you don't care what everybody else thinks anymore. This was a tower moment for you. It was. You coming to terms with being worried about appearances was a tower moment for you. It was an epiphany, a revelation, an awakening, right? You understand now how much this person means to you and how much you want to um, come together with them. It was a total tower moment for you. Magician in reverse, untapped talents, right? Now you appreciate who this person is before you didn't. But now you do. The Nine of Pentacles. You appreciate. No, you're going to bring it all to a culmination. Nines, fruition, attainment, conclusion, completion, accomplishment, right? Um, you are going to bring this. You're going to wrap this whole damn situation up. And you are going to communicate with the Queen of Pentacles. That's what you're going to do. You're going to communicate with this person. Um, there's going to be an energetic chef, shift with this person. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to communicate with this person. And you don't care what anybody thinks. You don't care what anybody says. And that's what you're going to do. Three of Wands, you're preparing for it. You are preparing to do this. You're having some foresight, probably trying to figure out how to get in touch with this person. You're having some foresight. You're preparing to do it. The five of cups in reverse. You are, you want forgiveness. You want to forgive them. They want to, you want them to forgive you. Forgiveness in the whole situation. That's what you want, right? High priestess, you feel this in your soul, Scorpio. It's in your soul. It's all consuming and it's in your soul and you can't stop what you want. And I think that's part of the tower moment that you had here. The whole worried about appearances. There's a worried about appearances. What is that? Is there an age difference, a color difference, a culture difference? Uh, 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 what is that? You know, a, a, a weight difference, a height difference. What is the whole worried about appearances thing? But nevertheless, you've had an epiphany, an awakening, a, re a revelation that this is what you want and it is a soul calling to the four of wands harmonious relationship marriage family right this is structure foundation stability that's what you want in this relationship ace of swords absolute mental clarity absolute mental clarity there is no doubt in your mind what you're going to do and how you're going to get it judgment this is this is a rebirth this is a, this is the major decision. There is no going back. This is the Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on, on judgment day, resurrecting the dead from the grave. This is an absolute rebirth. And that's what you want. Happiness, success, vitality. It's what you want. The devil. What? The devil. This is the draw. Okay. This is the draw. If you look really close, those are lovers right there, right? This is like the second lover's card of the tarot deck. You got the first lover's card, which is all oh, love and harmony. And then you have the second lover's card, which is just a little bit nasty. 
is just a little bit nasty. What else can you say, right? It's that kind of that kind of thing, right? Can you feel that? I can feel that. Can you feel that? It's that kind of thing, right? Drives you wild, Scorpio. Drives you wild, right? Prince of Wands in reverse. You're done with the frustration. You're done with the waiting. You're done with the delays. You're done with it all. And you, my friend, are going to embrace it. You are going to take the step off the cliff and you're going to land both feet in a Ten of Cups relationship with your Empress come hell or high water. That is your decision. That's what you're going to do. There's no little new beginning, new journey here with this Fool card. This is you, Scorpio, jumping off this cliff, both feet landing smack in the middle of a awesome relationship with somebody that you truly, truly from a soul deep level love. And I say fucking go for it. YOLO baby, YOLO. You only live once. You only live once Scorpio. Do it. Do it. Take the quantum leap. Do it. Don't delay. Do it. You only live once. And to have a soul love is, man, to have a soul love is, is, I've had that, right? And it's awesome. So if you have an opportunity to have soul love, Scorpio, and you got your differences behind you, you got yourself all straightened out with the whole worried about appearances thing, whatever that was for you, um, do it, Scorpio. Reach out and do it. Best of luck to you, my friend. Namaste.